Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive off uh, this Land Rover Series 2, 88-inch um, petrol truck cab seven-seater that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of engine starting and idling action at the end. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, rather lovely Land Rover Series 2. I know it says it's uh, deregistration, but it was first civilian registered in 1966, but I think it's actually a 1961 Series 2. Haven't looked at the history yet. We think it's possibly an ex-military vehicle. Uh, it's certainly led an interesting life with that uh, massive, great, genuine Land Rover winch on the front of it. And it's also got provision for um, air compressor and stuff like that. Um, so previous owner didn't really know where it had been. Um, be interesting if he could find out its history, I must admit. But uh, uh, we think it's ex-military. There are a few military bits still on it, like the, um, uh, the six-way light switch and the uh, military headlamp surrounds and things. Um, but yeah, she's a, a, a truck in truck cab configuration with a nice top on it, three seats in the front, uh, twin benches in the back. Um, Spec-wise, as I say, apart from this enormous great winch, which we haven't tested, I think it's a PTO winch. Yes, it is, a hydraulic. No, sorry, it's a hydraulic winch. Um, but it is a genuine Land Rover one and quite rare, I would think. I haven't seen one before, certainly. Um, it's got the mount on the bonnet for the spare wheel. The spare wheel is actually in the uh, in the load area at the moment. Um, does make it easier to lift the bonnet. Inside, it's got its original um, sprung steering wheel and stuff. It's got Exmoor trim deluxe seats, inertia reel seat belts for driver and front passenger. Uh, what else does she have? Um, it's got the correct early. Uh, wiper motors and stuff. That's just the door creaking as it's opening. Um, the short handbrake lever down there. I think they're the levers to do with the to do with the winch. As I say, we haven't tested the winch. Um, it's got Smith's heater, although that doesn't seem to uh, to blow. Um, it's also got a, a hand throttle control on it, which does work, and some extra gauges. We've got an oil pressure and water temperature gauge there, which work, and um, the air tank gauges, which uh, as I say, again, haven't tested. I think it has got an air tank under the back, but haven't tested those. And I think down there, apart from the fire extinguisher, that's the uh, that's something to do with the um, with the air compressor as well. So yeah, interesting history this one, an interesting spec. Also inside, we've got some um, fitted door card door cards with these uh, door pockets on there. Matching set, I think, of relatively decent 205R16 tyres that look um, relatively new. Yep, cam axle round. Um, and then let's come on to the trailer very quickly. Now, it can either be sold with the trailer or without. Uh, it did come into us with this trailer. Uh, I'm not sure which manufacturer it is, whether it's a Sankey or, um, or Brockhouse or anything, but it's... Uh, proper sort of military spec trailer with its NATO tow hook which matches this one the electrics do work it's also got this lovely fitted cover I think inside there's a couple of sand ladders and things um, but yeah it's, it, it's a few bits and bobs inside it but yeah the um, the trailers in uh, in nice shape as well so all the electrics work at the moment it's got because it came with it it's got the matching plate um, as I say the vehicle is available either with or without the trailer but um, obviously, uh, if we sell the trailer separately, then uh, that place is going to be a bit useless. But at the minute, it does go with, with the vehicle. Um, but I say, I don't know what manufacturer it is. I've not had one before. I can't see a manufacturer's label on it. Anyway, um, yeah, as we said, in the back, we've got twin bench seats. Uh, what looks like an ammo box there. That's the spare wheel. Another fire extinguisher. The, uh, the tilt's faded, but it's in good order. Um, not ripped or torn or anything. The rear window's nice. So let's start at the front and work our way around, as we normally do. Paint is pleasingly patinated on this one, shall we say, especially on the roof. And uh, the roof for a pickup is unusually sort of dent-free. It is slightly wavy, but um, 
most people tend to sit on the roof and it dents them badly but uh, it is very slightly wavy but it's not as bad as a lot but the uh, as you can see the paint is near non-existent on the roof um, so the patinated paint elsewhere otherwise galvanized front bumper and it's military light units um, a couple of minor dinks just in the front corners of the offside front wing here so paint loss on the uh, uh, on the bonnet, on, on the uh, upper wing panel there. Obviously had something, some sort of plate fitted there at some point. So it'd be interesting to know what its history is and it's got these uh, very early lights on it as well. Proper glass ones. Looking down the near side, a couple of minor depressions in the front of the near side front wing and there's all sorts of ripples and stuff down here but uh, she is well ideally she's 61 years old um, again patinated paint i'm not going to go through every paint um, blemish on it suffice to say the whole vehicle is, is quite nicely patinated I'll show you a bit under here post up to there near side screen has got a repaired chip in it just there but otherwise the screens are in good shape we've talked about the roof um, both front door tops have had what I would call a field repair done on the front of them here to give them some extra strength um, nice looking repair actually and again back there it's, it's all part of the period charm of it in a way uh, now we have got down here on the a pillar some corrosion there and this bit up there as well seats are in good shape let's see what the foot goes on like foot wheels are good um, dash is all as it should be. Seats, Exmoor trim ones in excellent order. Seat boxes are nice. Near side rear wing. Now I suspect that's something to do with the um, with the air tank because so I think that's an air tank under the back there. I think. Anyway, we'll show you under here while we're here. And that rather stops us from seeing the back of the rear cross member on this side. We'll carry on round. Nice GB plate there. I don't need to go too much more into the uh, into the trailer. We've talked about that. So we'll just walk round to the other side. Certainly, if anybody can enlighten me what manufacturer of trailer it is, probably worth knowing. It's got NATO recovery, it's got recovery rings on the rear cross member as well. Looking down the offside, looks really quite straight, and there are a couple of ripples in the uh, in the offside front wing. Rear tub is actually really quite straight on this one. Have a paint mark there. And again, we'll show you underneath here. Quite a charming vehicle, this one, in my opinion. It's nice to see it's still got its deep sills and everything on it. Around along here. Slight sort of repair dent just there on the front of the wheel arch. Um, again, we'll show you underneath here. Again inside, same field repair on front of the um, 
the door top there and the same there again. Seems to, been, seems to do the job though, because I've been like it for years. Bulkhead corner, we have got a bit of corrosion just under there. Hope you can see it on the video. And then a little bit just there as well. Let's pull the mat back. But uh, foot wells. All looking alright. So I think there we have it. It's so uh, it, it really has got a charm all its own. This one I do like this. It dries really really well. Anyway, my name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drome.com. Okay, quick video of start up and idling on this uh, Series 2 Land Rover. All light ignition light come on as they should. Starts nicely. As you can see, we've got uh, Oil pressure and water temperature gauges over there, all doing as they should. Now we'll show you a bit on the bonnet. Got the 151 prefix 2.25 petrol engine there, doing, uh, doing what it should, not making any funny noises, performing the way it's supposed to. say previous owner was confident enough to uh, drive this up from Devon to us uh, about 200 miles. There we go.